Greetings everybody, I am the Soviet Warlord and I'm bringing you another episode of my single player Minecraft. Uh, I've actually not been on this world for a considerable amount of time actually, but uh, I've got some plans for today, luckily. I've been meaning to get around and do this for quite a long time and I think it's finally time I did it. Now I'm going to be adding something else to this in a minute. Uh, let's take a look. Well, I've got 40 levels, so I didn't see why I should, uh, I should oh yeah, I was going to repair this thing, what am I talking about? I'm sorry, my mind is more elsewhere today. So I've got sharpness 3, knockback 2, and something else for this. N yeah, knockback and looting. Time to fix the gold farmer. 39 levels. Nasty uh, expense, but it must be done. Mind you, Stackanov's pick is running out very quickly. That is also going to need fixing in just a moment. Now, I need to put a sign up on the wall here. Yep, I brought my signs. Still haven't quite got the hang of all this stuff yet. <laughs> yep, it is uh, indeed 1.4.6. This is the first day of 1.4.6. Uh, there's a Christmas surprise. I've already seen what the Christmas surprise is. I'm sure a lot of you have, but I don't really want to be a spoiler. So, gold farmer, diamond count. Now it looks neater if it's up. Oops. Excuse me. Ah, up. There we go. Diamond count four. Two for the sword and two for the repair. And I'm going to keep count of these consistently. Uh, I'm just going to have a think here. If I put try to put two more diamond on here, is the cost still going to be relatively the same as the last time? Or does naming an item not affect it as much as I thought? No, it looks like it's relatively the same, so naming your item does have a good benefit. Anyway, I'm going to gather together some gunpowder and sand because we're going to be doing some blasting today. Whoopee! So I'm going to gather it all together and I'll see you in just a moment. Alright, welcome back. Uh, I am in the blazing hot paradise called the Nether. <laughs> paradise, huh? get it? <laughs> oh yeah. So what I plan to do today is to finish this place off. Uh, now the reason I need this TNT, I've brought a stack in a little bit. I had two and a half stacks of gunpowder plus the 40 or so I already had. So what I'm going to do here is build all the way around and make it into the giant dome that it's meant to be. Well. Actually, the reason the TNT is needed is because I want to bring the ceiling of this place up. This chunk of netherrack, I need to get rid of it. Now, the big problem with that is I think there's a lot of spawning space up top. Now, I can blow up there. The problem is I need to make sure I don't end up smashing what I've already built. So, what I did was I copied the world's uh, properties file and I put it into a Minecraft multiplayer server. Oh. And I logged into it through localhost. So that means I went in there, put it onto creative, and tried out some blasting techniques to try and minimise the damage I do to this structure. I think it actually turned out okay, and I have a fairly good idea how I'm going to blast this. I'm probably going to use Etho's TNT trick, which is the 3x3 box room. I don't actually think a 3x3 box is needed, though. Oh, shit. I'm going to do some experimenting with the uh, TNT down here though because I feel as though I don't know enough about netherrack and TNT to be able to do a really good job of it. Oh god, this pickaxe is too good. <laughs> I feel a bit bad using an efficiency 4 unbreaking 3 on netherrack but it's the only resource I've got available to me at this time. Okay, not resource, it's a tool, but you get the concept. So what I'm going to do, or the long run plan here, is to destroy all this netherrack and turn this thing into an actual dome. 
because uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but my two favourite building blocks are indeed glass and obsidian. Wow, that is... That's kind of crazy, that speed. <laughs> right, so... Let's put in all this glass. Uh, and I want to top the edge off with end stone, just like I have with the bottom. It's going to be a bit more visible than the bottom. But I think it's kind of ironic that I'm mixing two dimensions into one. <laughs> the nether and the end. Now the reason I've brought so much glass and I have more in reserve at home is precisely in case I end up blowing my base to pieces. Uh, needless to say I won't be very happy with myself if that turns out to be the case but I've decided just to prepare in case I do end up making a fatal mistake and completely screwing my builds up because like, as I said I will not be happy now from the way I'm building I bet the question going through your mind now is why the fuck do you plan to get out of here well I don't actually I don't plan to get out of here yet uh, what I want to do is dig a tunnel that goes from here to the nether portal that I use at Hampton Tower hello ghast just casually drowning yourself down there are we <laughs> Uh, I know ghasts are immune to fire damage. I don't know if they can actually drown. Like drown in lava. Like just run out of air. Anyway, I was playing on Pharaohcraft uh, today. No, yesterday. And I just about found out how fucking useful Respiration 3 is. It's brilliant. I mean, I can stay outside for like two minutes. I wish I'd had one of them helmets when I was building the darn thing in the first place. Anyway, I'm going to um, top this off, and I'll start digging up into the nether rack. And then I'll start laying down some charges for you on camera. And you'll be able to see exactly how much damage I can do to this thing. So I'll be back in just a moment. There we are. Okay, I've got all the glass, and I've got the end stone border. Now, uh, as you can probably see, there's a lot of nether rack in the way. <laughs> oh, I love doing that. I really shouldn't be doing it, but it's just so fun. So what I want to do is test, oh, let's test out the potency of uh, TNT. I was about to say C4. <laughs> C4 only exists in Total Miner. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. Now I can hear. Now I want to test how potent this stuff is. So I'm going to go find a, a section of wall out here and detonate some and see, see just how much it does. Uh, with different strategies, of course. So, let's go find somewhere I need to blast. Well, just somewhere to blast and have a test. Oops. So much fire around here, man. <laughs> this place got sieged a little while ago. So, uh, I'm still trying to pick up the pieces. Right. Um... I suppose this place here looks good enough. Okay, so let's just get under here. So I dig one, two, three, four blocks in with no background. What does it do? Ooh, okay, okay. Maybe, uh, maybe it won't be needed <laughs> building that three by three chamber. That is a shit ton of damage. <laughs> yep, th that concludes it. I'm sorry, I don't even need to test from that. The amount of damage that TNT does there is more than enough to clear this place out. I mean, I'm sure there are ways I could do it a little bit more efficiently, but I've got a stack and a bit of TNT, and you can never have enough TNT. TNT makes the world go round. Everybody knows that. I must say though, this place is starting to look really nice as a base. Let me stack this up and climb in. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna test that right in the middle here. One, two, three, four. Um I have a lever here, so I'm gonna do it that way. Yep, I can tap that. And let's just use another piece of nether rack. It's 
see what it does. Whoa, okay. <laughs> that's uh, that's going to suffice pretty nicely. Now, the trick would be here is to, uh, to chain it so that it blasts all of it repeatedly. Because I don't really want to have to keep using uh, levers for every single one of them. Oh, I got my lever back. How, uh, how kind. Okay. So... I want, I want to blast relatively close, but I don't want to blast so close that I end up wrecking my uh, my end stone wall here. So I reckon that's a good distance. Now it needs to be one, two, three, four, five blocks away if I want it to chain properly. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that would probably leave enough room for another charge. One, two, three, four, five. That's definitely enough space for a charge. Look at me speaking all military. Right, I'm going to lace this wall up here with charges and I'll see uh, see how it looks or what potential I have. Right, I've, uh, I've laced these walls up a bit. Which one was I going to detonate to start off with? No, it wasn't there. It was over here somewhere. That's the charge I'm starting with. Okay, I'm going to test this charge here. Did it stall? Yeah, it wasn't quite big enough to reach the next one so my spacing is probably off uh, yeah the next one was directly behind this nah they need to be four spaces apart if I want to chain and blow them all up let in one fell swoop Yeah, definitely not. <laughs> it's going to need um, a bit more work than this. So I reckon four spaces apart, but that would mean more TNT output. Mind you, it does leave a l very little here to like clean up. Especially with an efficiency four pick. I said I'm, I feel bad about using an efficiency four. Oh, my frame rate just took a hit. As I said, it doesn't leave much to clean up, so I wouldn't be using too much of my pick on it. Yeah, I'm going to give this a few uh, a few tries. Okay, this blast is going to be a little bit dangerous because the charge on the far end is right in front of the, the glass window. Ah, oh, it's stalled again. <laughs> Uh, I can't do anything right. Does this mean that they technically have to be three apart to reliably chain them? Well, I suppose doing them four apart is, um, is good because I can see them and light them easily rather than having to use a lever for every single charge. That's going to take out the end stone. Oh! That was a successful chain. <laughs> oh, uh. I want to put another nether rack under that. No, it seems to be extremely hit and miss with four, four level spacing. That is a lot of fucking damage you can do with TNT. Now that's going to take out the glass. Yeah, I thought so. Strange though, it left all the end stone totally intact. It did the same over there as well. Oh, wow. That's a very close ghast. <laughs> uh, right. I'm still going to have to blast like three or four layers up. Which is going to take me uh, quite a few charges. Uh, I need to clean this middle up, so I'm going to have to blow this to bits. 
Again, I'll carry on experimenting with it and I'll see what I can accomplish. Oh, okay, I've almost used my stack now. Um, that's quite a lot of distance I've taken out. And there's a lot of distance over there that I've completely removed, which I'm happy about. Um, there seems to be a lot of gas spawning, so I might go back to the overworld for a while, just to make sure they, they disappear and I get more pigmen. But um, I've exposed some of the upper level, but I still see there's a ton more to blast. I mean, there's no way I'm going to have enough TNT for this today. But uh, I'll probably be harvesting some gunpowder. I still notice that still exists. Probably from where I took out this level up here. Anyway, I don't don't want to fall from here. <laughs> Otherwise, that's pretty much all of my great stuff gone, including my gold farmer sword. They just had to take the opportunity to spawn right there, didn't they? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be blasting more of that. I'm gonna use up my whole stack. Uh, there's a lot of residue to clear up, but once that's all done, I should have a nice exposed ceiling at the very least, which is what I'm going for. So I'm going to carry on blasting. Uh, hopefully the result is pretty good because I haven't really been chaining them because I think it's going to be it's going to be too wasteful to chain them. So what I've been doing at the moment is pillaring up, digging in towards the wall that I want to blast. Okay, this is this is a terrible example. Yeah, I've been digging into a wall like this. Oops, only one one. And then lighten it, moving back and waiting, check the results and carry on. I mean, I think that's actually a really effective way. It's it's not being very wasteful on my TNT resources either. Plus, I've been doing a lot of manual cleaning up, just with the pickaxe. I do want to get rid of this. I want a 360 view from outside the hub, so I'm going to have to take that into account. Ah. Oh. You should have seen that. <laughs> you actually should have seen that kill. I was um, I was putting down netherrack at the top of the uh, the top of the wall to climb up and plant some TNT. I saw a fire charge coming at me, so I jumped. The fire charge hit my legs, did four hearts of damage. It knocked me upwards from the blast, and I fell like 15 blocks and fucking died. <laughs> oh my god, you really should have seen that. That would have had most of you pissing your pants laughing. <laughs> and me pissing my pants. Is that an enderman? No. Uh, tenth death. Great. No, it's the other way around. Deaths. Ten. That ghast, man. I thought I was safe doing that. Oh, I really hope my stuff survived. Well, I would have survived because it landed in a place which is immune to fire damage, so it should be okay. If I can just quickly pillar, pillar in there and grab my shit. Oh. Come on. Can I get back? Perfect. Yeah, there's my gold ingots. The rest is netherrack, I believe. Oh my god. I can't believe that. That was embarrassing and extremely unlucky. It's too bad I didn't switch the recorder on as he fired. Uh, feather falling would have been absolutely beautiful right then. Never mind. Uh, right, another quick progress update. Uh, I've finished blowing out what I can up there. I've taken a little bit off the side there and I've patched up the windows. But I now need to actually stop everything from spawning. I've also built this um, pretty simple entrance. I think it looks quite nice actually. <laughs> it means I don't have to keep scaling the wall to get out every time now which I'm pretty happy about 
But uh, my idea is half slabs uh, and glass for the ceiling. Uh, still not entirely sure like what tiers are, are on uh, are going to be on it. I'm sorry, I can't speak. I never fucking can. I can speak perfectly fine when no one is recording, and then as soon as I turn the microphone on, my voice decides it's going to have a few spasms and decide not to speak for me. So yes, that that's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. Anyway, I need to kit this roof out to uh, stop anything from spawning. So what I thought of doing was brick slabs on the first tier here. Did that just place two right there? Like two for the price of one? I'll have to keep an eye on that. But what I'm going to do is place half slabs for the first ring, glass for the second and third, then half slabs. This way I cut out all possibility of anything spawning on my roof because it's all half slabs and glass and mobs can't spawn on either of them. And I like the glass because I want the 360 dome. The dome will allow me a view in every direction. Oh, I just picked up all that junk again. I didn't want to do that. But I don't really have time to cover the whole rooftop covering. So um, I'm probably going to leave the episode here. And I'll do all this off camera. So I am the Soviet Warlord and this has been an episode of Minecraft. I really hope you've enjoyed. Please rate, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you later. Peace out.